How's it going all? It's Than from Tidal Gardens. We've done a few videos in the past on Acanthastria, which is one of the most popular large polyp stony corals. Now those videos highlighted one species of acans, namely Acanthastria lordhauensis, which is probably the most commonly seen acan in local fish stores and whatnot. And it's probably what comes to mind when people think about acans in general. There are other varieties out there, and that's what we're going to talk about, about today. It turns out that there are many species of acans found throughout the world. In addition to the Lord Howensis, you might run into Acanthastria echinata, for example. It's flatter in appearance compared to the Lord Howensis, and its coloration is typically limited to orange, purple, and green. Having said that, there are some rare rainbow morphs out there, so if you're lucky enough to see one of those, that's great. The other distinguishing feature is kind of the texture of the polyp. There are some small round bumps on its face, sort of similar to what you might see on a Recordia yuma, and that's uh, kind of different from the other acans that tend to have smoother skin. I get asked often which corals can be kept in close proximity with one another, and of course, that's a really loaded question with a million possible answers. I can, however, say that acans of different species close to one another is a mistake. An acan lord, for example, it's going to fight with an acan echinata very aggressively. So if one happens to fall off of its rock and land face down on the other, one or both of those corals may die as a result. So it's important to consider placement when you have both varieties in the same aquarium. Lately, I came across what was described as an Acanthastria rotundiflora. I will be the first to admit that I have a very difficult time telling these apart from an Acan echinata. To confuse matters, their morphology varies substantially depending on where they're found. In some geographies, such as Japan and the Philippines, these acans look much more similar to a chalice coral, where their polyps are widely spaced and their coral lights have kind of a toothed appearance. Yeah, I don't know why, but there are some corals, like the echinata and the rotunda flora, that I can't tell apart, while there's others like an acan lord and, say, a micromusa, which look practically identical, but I can tell them apart from a mile away. The next two acans, the Bauer Banki and Hille, look very similar. Both of these acanthastri have large, irregular shaped polyps. One differentiator that I've heard described is that the Acanthastria Bauer Banki tends to be flatter and more sucked in, while the Acanthastria Hille are a bit more puffed up in appearance. Well, the problem with this is that these descriptions are of wild colonies. When you've had a coral in an aquarium for a while, they change to fit their surroundings. We feed our corals a lot, so it's common for acans to plump up. Our Bauer Bankies that we've had for an extended period of time are much fatter than the day that they arrived, so that line between the Bauer Banky and the Hille gets really blurry after a while. There are a few other types of acanthastri in the wild that are almost never seen, such as um, an acan maxima, for example, and those kind of resemble a scalemia. We don't see those corals in the industry because they're from regions where there aren't any type of export of corals, such as Oman. So if you do want one of those, good luck smuggling one out of the Middle East. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Aside from their appearance and their incompatibility with one another, their care requirements for um, the different types of acans are pretty much the same. All of them can be kept in medium light, medium flow. The devil, of course, is in the details. Acans in general tend to change color drastically depending on the type of light. So here, for example, you can see two acan bower bankies that were grown under two types of lighting. One was under T5 fluorescence, and the other one was under LED. You can see that the specimen on the left took on a rusty orange color, while the one on the right took on a more blood red appearance. As for feeding Acanthastria, they are some of the easiest corals to feed. 
They extend feeding tentacles relatively quickly and can snatch up both pellet food as well as frozen seafood. I've noticed major benefits from feeding these corals, so I recommend making some effort to try to target feed them. Alright guys, that's pretty much it on the types of acans that are common in the hobby. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, happy reefing.